How's it going everyone? And in this video, we're gonna be walking through how you can get started with Arduino. And this might not say Arduino on it, but it is an Arduino chip. It's just a cheaper version I got on Amazon. So everything applies to both of these. And basically the very first thing you need to know here is that on this side of the Arduino, you've got a USB type B port as well as a power supply port. For us to actually load code onto this thing to make it do stuff like turn on lights or change voltages, we will need to be uploading our logic through this USB type B port. So you will need a USB type B cable and hopefully your Arduino came with one. Um, and if not, you can buy these on Amazon for a couple bucks. Uh, but basically by the end of this video, we are going to install the software for the Arduino IDE onto our Windows machine and then load some logic onto this that will control the rate at which it will turn on a built-in LED on this thing uh, so that we can start playing around with it and changing some parameters in our software to see how we can do some cool stuff. So stay tuned and we'll get started. We are now going to walk through installing the Arduino IDE, the integrated development environment on our local computer. We're going to be doing the one for Windows, but you can also follow the guide for Mac as well. So basically we're at the Google page. We're just going to type in Arduino right here and we're going to click on the Arduino homepage right here and we're going to click on software and it's going to take us to this download section and uh, we will just download the appropriate installer for our computer, which in this case would be a Windows 7 thing. And in my case, I'm going to just download this, the guy, and uh, you can make a donation as well if you would like. Uh, so we'll let this download complete and give it just a second. So cool, so our download has completed. And uh, also make note that I have not yet ins inserted the Arduino, so I've got my USB cable and then the other end of that guy is going to my computer, um, but I have not yet plugged this guy in. So I'm gonna wait just on that part and I'm going to open up this executable file and give it a moment. And basically the whole reason why we are needing to do this is that uh, we need to provide the software to our computer to understand how to interact with the Arduino we're about to plug into it. So I've got this little security thing, I'm going to click run and I'm also going to click yes just to allow it to install. Click on I agree. We're going to be creating everything here. Uh, so leave all these boxes checked as defaults and we're just not changing anything here and we're going to give this thing another second to uh, proceed with doing the installation. Okay, and I'm getting a little message here asking if I want to install the driver. I'm going to click install and install again and install again. Cool. And so there we go. We've just successfully installed our Arduino uh, IDE. So I'm going to click on the start menu here and we should see some new icons. Uh, so we've got this new Arduino app on our system. So I'm going to click on that guy. It's going to open this thing up. It's going to ask me if I trust this software or I want to allow access to it. I'm going to click allow access. And so right now we've got our little software right here uh, running for Arduino, but I still have not yet connected my Arduino. So uh, what I'm going to do next, now that we've actually installed the drivers for this guy, is I'm going to uh, again click on my little start menu here. I'm going to type in device manager and I'm gonna open this guy up. And uh, so the important thing to make note of is that we're basically using a COM port, a COM port on our machine right now. And note how it's detecting all these things. Uh, and when I connect this guy like that, the lights come on and we can see that our Arduino Uno is now being recognized by our Windows computer just like that. So um, that is pretty cool. And um, so now what we're gonna do next is actually proceed with writing a little bit of software to uh, make these, make some lights turn on and off just to do like a hello world example with this thing. So stay tuned. All right, so we are now going to walk through the process of actually running the code to get a LED built into our little Arduino to blink and we can change logic on this thing to see what we can do. Uh, so we'll get started with that. So basically, uh, right now what I have is my Arduino IDE, and I'm going to make this full screen, and I'm going to hold down the control button and scroll up on my mouse, and that's just to make the text bigger here so we can read it. Um, and now I'm gonna go to File, and I'm going to go to, sorry, Examples and Basics, and these are built in, so it's pretty cool. I'm gonna click on Blink, and hopefully this name is pretty intuitive what it does, so I'm going to maximize this window. And so basically, uh, if you read these comments, it is basically tells us what it's about to do. So basically there is a built-in little LED on these Arduino boards themselves. And so what this does is it basically will make this LED blink uh, at a set rate 
uh, on this thing because it's there's uh, integrated little resistor on this board as well as you know the LED itself. Um, so it's gonna be pretty cool. And thank you to the authors. And so basically. Uh, Delay 1000 is basically a thousand milliseconds. So the units here are milliseconds and it's telling it, you know, to set the voltage to, you know, five volts or 3.2 volts or whatever it is set at uh, for one second and then wait a second and then change the voltage back to, you know, zero or low and then wait another one second and then basically continue doing this indefinitely. So um, what we're going to do now is on this button, it says upload here, and there's also verify. Verify is pretty cool. So it's like before you actually upload this and overwrite the you know existing uh, set of instructions that are on your Arduino, you can click on verify, and it's just going to confirm that basically everything here looks good. And if it didn't, you would see an error message, and you can Google that error message or see what is wrong with your code. Um, but basically in our case, what we're going to do is we're just going to click on upload, not changing anything in this example. And what upload's doing is it's literally sending these instructions over this cable to my Arduino itself now. And note how it's saying serial port not selected. Uh, this is because we haven't yet told the Arduino IDE where to put this. And you know, I could have many Arduinos hooked up to my same computer, which is the reason why we need to actually tell it exactly where to do it. And if we remember in our device manager window right here, uh, we under our ports section, it's telling us it can see this Arduino Uno, and it's on COM3. So basically what we need to do is we need to set this to COM3, and you can see it's also smart enough to know that that is our Arduino Uno right here. Uh, so if you had other Arduino types too, those would hopefully show up uh, as their respective type. I'm gonna click on OK, and so now it's actually gonna put this thing onto our chip just like this. And you can see the light that is now blinking uh, every one second, and it's turning off. And so, you know, if you want to start playing around a little bit with this, like you can say, I want my LED to be on for two seconds and I want it to be off for half a second. You would change this value to 2000 milliseconds for waiting while it's just turned the LED on and then setting this to be 500, uh, which means, you know, half a second after it's turned it off. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, before we upload it, good practice to verify that our code changes have not broken anything. So just gonna verify this and haven't seen any errors. And we can still see that this thing's blinking on and off at that set one second interval. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna re-upload this modified code now to our Arduino. And we should see this LED uh, take on these different properties. And so hopefully I can see it here. Yeah, so now you can see this thing's being on for two seconds, off for half a second, on for two seconds, off for half a second and so on and if you want to get crazy you know you can just come in here and start copying these lines and uh, you know pasting it in to add in some other funky stuff too uh, so you can do that and you know have it on for uh, two seconds and then we'll have it on for another half second and just you know just start playing around with it. Uh, it's like dancing. You just kind of move and do stuff and see what works and what doesn't. And hopefully you don't embarrass yourself too badly. Um, but yeah, we'll see what this one looks like. So I'm going to just verify it again. We're not getting any blood in our console, as we say. I'm going to upload this guy. And now we're going to see what this thing looks like. So it'll be two seconds, half second, half second, two seconds. And now it's like a little beat to a song or something, you know. You've got an upbeat and downbeat. Um, but <laughs> yeah, so... That is how we're going to get started with Arduino, and we've just successfully installed it and run through a little example on our computer without having to really write any code. Uh, we are now up and running, so thank you all for watching. More videos to come on this stuff, so if you like it, stay tuned, and uh, thank you all for watching, and be well.